Oh, good morning, guys. All right, so. Get the bird food out. The birdie, 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 birdie. Just dark. It's a bird feeder. Ooh, it's empty. I'm going to have to get some more bird food. I can't leave the bird feeder empty. I do it Good Lord. Okay. Can't put my mitten on yet. Oh, it wasn't completely empty. That's good. That's So I have a morning dove solo. They normally travel in pairs. So that's a little weird. I think I left my other flashlight either in the barn or in my car. I took the car out last night because after work I had to swing by the feed store to pick up <coughs> grain for the next two weeks. <clears throat> yep. So, no sunrise yet. Nothing. Nothing out there yet. Just back up so I can see where I can go. Cloudy sky. We don't have the shadows in the morning from the moon like we did yesterday. <laughs> duck, duck. Duck your head. Should trim all those back. This does make a nice path through here. <clears throat> I'd kind of like to fence this off. And make like a side yard out the front door. Put a doggy door on the front door. Put a porch there. Yeah, you know, I have all these great ideas, but you know what's stopping me? Money. Money, honey. <clears throat> yeah, a lot of money to pull off the things I want to do. I mean, even if you do all the work yourself, it's still a lot of, a lot of work. Ta-da! Goose Goose came in last night. Oh, yeah, so the flashlight is in my car. It's better than it being out here. All right, let's see. You know I need to fill the hay bag. I'm going to start with hay this morning. it myself to get the most amount of time out of it. You know, so feed bags used to be $6.99. These ones, these really nice ones. Hi there. Hi there. Now, they're way more than that. I want a set of those lights to put there and run across the top. Inside, I really like those. They're very bright. 
bright. <laughs> They're not motion detected. But they don't use a lot of electricity. They use hardly any electricity. So I really, really like them. But you know, electricity is expensive. And you want to be as frugal as possible with what you're doing. So like I was saying, these used to be, they're now 16. So they've gone up $10 in the last four years, which I think is ridiculous. I mean, if it was $10,000 and it went up $10, it'd be no big deal. But when it was, you know, $7, and now I'm paying 16 well, that's a big freaking increase. And I'll bet the people making these, and wherever they're made, I highly doubt they're made here in the United States by a union shop. I would bet they're made somewhere, some sweatshop. Materials are probably three dollars. Labor's probably a buck. who's selling them. I won't speak names. It's getting all the money. Anyway. This one, because I had redone it, is a little bit tighter to squeeze the hay in. But, so if I bought five of these, cost me. So they're $20 a pack. So it would cost you like 20 bucks. I bring home less than $500 a week. I am not putting into a 401k for be teaching full time. Teachers don't work in the summer. Yeah, they do. They work their second job during the summer because their first job that they spent thousands of dollars on won't pay the bills. So I don't want to hear these people going, oh, well, teachers have all summer off. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. We do. Do you know what else we do? Do you have, when you go to work, do you sometimes have to swing by and uh, buy more pencils, paper, markers? And you think the school pays for all that? It doesn't. You think the parents buy all that stuff? Small handful can. You get $250 a year. 
So if you have 25 kids, $10 a year in supplies. Have you purchased markers recently? How about construction paper? When we make copies at work, there's a little ticket counter that tells us how many copies we've made and how much it costs. So, uh, where's the taxpayer dollars going? I don't know. I'm not the accountant. I don't have access to their books. But I can tell you, when you tell people that teachers have the summer off, they don't. All those decorations in the classroom, all those kids' books that they read in their classroom, you think the school paid for those? No. The teacher bought those. All those posters on the wall? Teacher bought. All the everything else that's in that classroom? Lights, paintings, anything the kids want to do? Teacher bought. All those little trinkets they come home with when they make something for you for Christmas, when you've got their picture, they have to print the pictures. Teacher paid for that. Yep. Do you do that where you work? You swing by the grocery store on your way to work because you've got a kid who hasn't had anything to eat during snack time because they don't have any money. You spend $25, $30 a week feeding someone else's kids. No? Well, you must not be a teacher. Do you swing by the Goodwill and see if you can pick up an extra pair of snow pants so you can put them in the, in the little shop we've got? It's a free shop. We don't charge the kids. But you get to go if we know you don't have snow pants. And you still want to go outside and play during recess. What about snow boots? You don't have a good pair of snow boots. So the teachers pick them up. I've bought underwear, socks, shoes, snacks, shirts. Oh, and on top of that, all that spirit wear stuff your kids come home with and buy like the, you know, I go to Belvedere High School, those t-shirts that cost $35 a piece. We have to have those. Don't you support your students? You're going to get a big F you from me. Because you don't know. No clue. Hey, Cookie Wiggies! What are we doing in here? Have you been getting in them nesting boxes yet? Do you have any eggies? Oh, there's an egg right there. Look at that. Such a nice egg.
sinks when we first started this whole uh, farm thing, which I really started. It's mostly me. Our tractors were ungodly expensive. They've already tumbled down a Regular chicken? Meat bird. Do you see why I keep some for eggs? Yeah. I'd say that's a jumbo egg. That's what I would say. Jumbo. A lot. A whole lot. There we go.
disease. Has anyone who's accidentally been bit by one? Right, right. Are you next, Rowan, baby? Are you next? Let me go get you a water, okay? Let me go get my baby boil water. Look at you. Torn that mess apart. Oh, maybe the price is coming down like that. That would be awesome. I'll have to check. I have to see if that piece of fence is going Your turn for water. I don't know what to tell you. 
Is there any hay left in the wheelbarrow? Oh, there is. You know what? I might leave it right there. I don't have to come all the way down here. It's not that far, really, to think about it, but it's not the point. All right, so we've gone through two bales. For a bale a day. Well, and I'm feeding the horses, too, so it really is more than I would normally go through. But it's dark. There's no lights on the other side of the barn because I haven't installed any yet. Which it really is a money pit right now. <clears throat> Every little thing I do makes it just a little bit better. And that's just how it's going to have to be for now. Let's put this out first I'll put you guys out and then we will I see a turkey and then I see they ate all the hay I had in here Hopefully you notice that the light came on. Okay. I got the corn. the alpha horse will move the less dominant horse and it's like a domino effect so if I were to leave you out here goose there would move CD off his grain CD would move the goose off its grain and the goose would go act over where ghost was eating ghost is pretty good about sharing he's over there sharing with the turkey lurkey and I think goose goose came in here yep goose goose is eating so goose goose is used to coming in at night staying out during the day and they will go out the door, the horses go out. So that's the lighting I want to put inside. It's, um, it's like adhesive, but I just tack it up with these little nail things they send you. And that isn't all of it. Um, I cut that because they have like where you can cut it and, and connect it then. It doesn't work. That doesn't work. No. But that has, I've had that now for two years. Going on two years going on two years. It's been quite a while. Um, and it works really well. And it's literally maybe a penny a day to run. But I would like it right there where all those hooks are. I'd like to, and there's an outlet right there. I could run it and run it all the way across, which would really like almost blind us back here. Because as you can see, this light has gone out or is going out. And this one is out. But you can't replace those little pieces. You have to replace the entire strip. And it, it is very time consuming. So I wonder if I could get different clips <coughs> to run that wire through. Like, ooh, you could use like that. <coughs> I'm choking on something. I'm thinking of that flexible. Like, like you put on the end of your uh, rain spout at the bottom. It's that black, but it's flexible. If you could run small ones, say two inches, and run it between the lights, then you could just hook that in and then feed the light fixture through it. Just slit it, and it'll hold it. Uh -huh. 
Um, let's check on the fifth kid, please. I was worried at first about kitty litter being left out, or cat food being left out, and that maybe the, you know, rats would get in it, throw more rats. Oh, no, we got a cat in there. There's not been a problem. How long are we out here? 30 minutes. I'm not surprised. Did have to do the horses. In the summer, I don't have to do the horses. They're out on pasture. Everybody out of bed. Everybody had grain this morning. We should all be happy. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Whew. And I don't need my flashlight now. Be surprised how sound travels when there's no sound. Or how noisy it is. And my hearing isn't that good. I'm old. So, anyway, that's it for the end of the chores. Hope you're enjoying the crunchy cold and the tangents I sometimes go off on. But, uh, yeah. So anyway, all my wages have to go into the farm. That's what it goes into in my car payment. And groceries. <laughs> Isn't that funny? As at the grocery store and I spent $250. There's only two of us. Anyway, have a good day guys. Bye.